Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kevin Olson from TextLearn.com and welcome to lesson 6.4 of the Intro to Java series. In this lesson we will be focusing on using the Properties class in the Java API in order to save and load configuration information for our programs. So Java has this built-in properties class or object which allows us to save and load multiple values from a file. This makes the object extremely useful for accessing data related to configuration. So for example, if we wanted to save configuration information like the program settings and things like that, using the properties object would be a good way to go about doing that. So some useful methods that the properties class has are the store and load methods which we will use to store and load the properties from the file system and then it also has the set property and get property methods which we will use to save and load properties from that file so the set property method has a key and the key is the name of the specific configuration option or property that we're trying to save for example, we could have a key username and that could store the user's username. Then we would assign a value as a string to that key and it would set that property username to whatever value we assign it. Then when we want to load that property again, when the program runs a second time, we could get that property using the get property method and the key would be username. So let's take a look at the Eclipse and we will start checking out an example. So I'm going to create a new Java project. I'm going to call this six underscore four. And I'm going to create a new oops. I'm going to create a new class in here for testing. So I'm just gonna call this properties test with a main method. Now we have a clean slate and are ready to get started on this. So first thing, we're going to want to use a file output stream. And what we're going to do in this example is we're going to use a file output stream and the properties class in order to save properties to a file. So what we're going to need here is the file output stream, file output stream, FOSS equals leave that null for now and we're gonna have a file and we're just gonna call this config file equals well, I'll leave that as null for now as well they're so gonna have the file the config file that's gonna save the properties the file output stream which we are going to use in combination with the properties object to save the file so we have to have those two things and now we can try to open those up. So we will have FOSS, or actually no, we'll have file or config file equals new file and we'll give the file a name of config.properties. And we could call that whatever we want it to. It doesn't have to be called that properties. I just thought that would be appropriate since we're working with properties in this lesson. And we'll have to say FOSS equals new file output stream and we will pass it that config file. Because we don't have any config file called config.properties in the program directory, when we generate the file output stream, it will automatically create that file for us. So now we can create our properties. So we'll have properties, prop config equals new properties and the properties class has to be imported from the java api so we'll go ahead and import those properties from the java utilities package so now we have the file the file output stream and the properties imported into our properties test class so that is ready to go the next step will be to generate some properties that we want to save to that config properties file. And to do that, we can use the set properties method. So prop config dot 
set property. Then we have a string key and a string value. So the key will be whatever key we want to use. And I'm just going to call it username. And we'll give it a value of my name or whatever name you want it to be. So I'm just going to say set property username Kevin. So the program is going to remember the username is Kevin. Then we'll have another property and we'll just call it user age. I'm 22 years old so I will put in 22 there. And finally let's just add another one. We'll do email. My email is Kevin at texttolearn.com. So now we have Kevin22 and Kevin at textlearn.com all being stored to the respective property key. So now the properties object, property prop config has all those properties in it. What we have to do now is go ahead and save those properties to the config.properties file. And in order to do that, we can use the store method. So prop config has a store method and it stores using an output stream. We can see that we have the output stream and then comments. The output stream is of course FOSS because that is our file output stream which is going to be saving to this config.properties file. And comments is just simply a comment that's going to be put at the top of the properties file. You don't really have to put anything here if you don't want to. You just can leave it as a blank string like that. But I'm just going to call this program settings. So now we have stored the properties into the config.properties file using this file output stream. Only thing left is to close that output stream. So we can do fos.close. And let me see. System out print line config saved. Let's say that. Okay, and of course we have to have a catch block. So we'll catch an exception E, any exception, and we'll just use e.print stack trace if something goes wrong. So in summary here, we declared our file output stream and our config file. Then we initialized the config file with config.properties. We initialized the file output stream with that new file. We declared and initialized the properties object as being property config and that's just a new properties object. We set the properties username, user age, and email using the properties set property method. We then stored the properties into the file using the file output stream with the comment program settings. We then closed that file output stream and we say, printed out a message saying that the configuration was saved. And of course, if anything went wrong, we just caught that exception and used the print stack trace to print out the error message. Now let's go ahead and run this. And it says config saved. So let's take a look at the workspace in my project 6.4. You can see there is now this file in here called config.properties. And if we open this up, and I'm going to open it using Notepad. So let's take a look here. And you can see it says my comment up here, program settings, and the properties object automatically generated a date as well along with that. And it quite simply goes with the key, our email key, kevin at textlearn.com, user age 22, and username Kevin. So it stored all those properties to this config a properties file. So that worked successfully. You can see how that saved all that information. So that has been saved. Now let's take a look at loading that properties. So let's say now instead of saving, we want to try loading those properties and printing out their values. So we're just going to go the other way now. I'm just going to delete that. We can leave this the same, leave this the same. And instead of using a file output stream, we're going to have to have a file input stream. So file input stream, file input stream, I'll call it fis equals null. And of course, I have to import that file input stream. And I'll have to initialize it within the try block. So fis equals new file input stream config file. Our props, we're going to call those property config so we can leave that the same. And now in summary here, we declared our file input stream, our config file, 
we created the new file. Well, we didn't create the new file. We declared the file object as being config properties. Then we load that config file using the file input stream. And we have our properties config object declared and initialized. So now we can do prop config dot load. And we pass that the input stream, file input stream. So that is going to load from that config properties file. And all that remains is for us to get the properties. So we have our properties username, user age, and email. So we can do system, or we'll say string username equals prop config dot get property. And our key is username. We'll have string user age equals prop config dot get property user age and finally string email equals prop config dot get property email. So that'll get all those properties using the keys and it will set them into these variables. So we have those variables equal to those values now. And we can print all those out. Print system. Out print line and we'll just print username system out print line user age and system out print line email so we're going to print out those values that we're getting from the properties file onto the screen and finally we have to do file input stream dot close and I believe that is all we have to do so let's try running this and we can see it printed out Kevin 22 and Kevin at textlearn.com. So it did successfully load all those properties from the properties file. So that is how you can save and load to and from a properties file. Okay, so that concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching. Take care.